Now let us create the very first step for this login feature. So what I'll do, I'll uh, right click over here and I'll create a new class. So this will be a Java class and I'll name it as login step. So what I'm going to do, I copy all this stuff and I'm going to paste the entire stuff over here. Right. So instead of this, uh, uh, like if I mouse over over here, so I can see uh, import given from Cucumber API, right? Now there, uh, there's a shortcut of importing all these things. Uh, you can import these things one by one manually and you will see that the error will be gone. Right, we'll not worry about this pending exception. We're gonna remove this, right? I'm gonna remove uh, the comments from here. And I'm gonna remove this because we're gonna add our own code inside these steps. And I was talking about, let's say if I don't import this manually, I can say Control Shift O and all these annotation will be added automatically. So how to import it? It is Control plus Shift plus O. Right, which will help in importing all the library files. So now uh, this is my step definition. And let's say if I again run this feature, let's see what will happen. I've not given anything inside the step definition so far. I've not uh, written any code inside these methods. So still I want to run this. I just want to check uh, if I run this, what will happen? And you can see, it is it it is actually showing five step past one scenario pass so it has executed everything although there was nothing written inside these methods but these you can see these scenarios these uh, steps are actually mapped to these methods login step dot these methods see these are the methods if you take a look the very first method user navigates to facebook website and the step that is mapped is you given user navigates to the website, right? Similarly, if you take a look at the last one, user should be able to successfully log in, and login step dot user should be able to successfully log in, and you'll find them as a methods over here, right? So this is how the mapping is done between the feature file and the step file. Now let us add some code inside these methods and complete the very first uh, login step definition, right? So right now I'll be just uh, printing out some statements because uh, we'll be uh, will not be integrating Selenium at this moment. But once we are done with the basic, then we'll be adding the actual Selenium or the actual APM code in these methods, right? So uh, I'll just uh, do some system out print uh, So I'll say system dot out dot print and I'll name it as uh, given so that we'll come to know that this is executed. Given user navigates to facebook.com. Right. And I'm just going to write, sorry, at the rate when. User validates the home page title. So after validating the title, then user entered the username. And over here, I'll say at the rate and And I'll just copy and paste these things. And user entered the password. Then user should be successfully logged in. Successfully logged. Right. So now if I run this again,
I'll go to run configuration and say run. You're going to see the entire story, the entire steps has been executed. Right, so when we write the actual Selenium code over here, you're going to see that it will navigate to facebook.com, then it will validate the title, it will enter username, password, and it will uh, perform a successful login. Right, so what else can be done uh, instead of running it from the login dot feature let's say if you if you don't use the cucumber plugin then you you'll not get the option to run the feature directly from here so you can also create a runner class over here uh, which let's say uh, you can name it as uh, run cuke so this will be a j unit class so you need to add a j unit library over here Right, Cucumber can be run through JUnit, it can be run through TestNG as well. There are TestNG runners as well available for Cucumber. Right now, we are going to start with JUnit. Later on, I'll show you some example on TestNG as well. But Cucumber has major support with JUnit as compared to TestNG. Right, so in this course, we'll be focusing more on JUnit. Although, you can use TestNG as well. I'm going to show you some example with TestNG as well. So what I'm going to do, I'll right click over here. I'll go to build path. I'll go to add libraries and I'll add this J unit library uh, to the project. And on top of it, I just need to add an annotation at the rate run with cucumber dot class and need to import this run with with J unit. That's it. Now, instead of running it from the feature file, I'll right click on this run queue. I'll say run as J unit test and I'll select Eclipse. Click on OK. And you're going to see that all the steps have been executed. And there is a report that is also generated over here uh, in which it says five tests were successfully executed. Five steps were successfully executed. Right, running with the help of J unit or any other uh, like test ng, the benefit is that uh, once we are executing our uh, Cucumber test, we are gonna see some uh, reports as well, some HTML reports. So with the help of these runners, uh, we'll be able to see those reports. Right, so that we're gonna see in upcoming lectures. All right.